Arthur! Arthur! What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Let's go, boy. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Hold up! Someone got here first. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What do you think? Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. Nobody? Not yet. Look, tracks. Come on. Come on, boy. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Way, then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? 
Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You... When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the... ...full way, and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles way by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? You must have crossed over the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What's wrong, Arthur? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. You're dead. Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. They'll be down a while. All right. That should do it. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. It just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I've got to damn find out what he said. Hello. <laughs> Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow <laughs> manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line.
That must be it. Whoa! Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. So uh, you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get at those sons of bitches. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields. Did you see those birds? Come on, you cowards. Till I find you. Come on, where are they? God damn these sons of bitches. I'm telling you now, you boys ain't leaving here. We need to find these bastards. Look at the birds. Go that way. Where the hell are they? We got one more, Charles! on the ground over here. He stumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. <sighs> Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. Let me take him and get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Come on. 
He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up this slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. Sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. Wow, boy. 
Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. And you're helping everybody. And every there's trouble. Who are you? Like I said. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. The old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. Haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. 
I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Easy. Let me do the talking. Help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's, uh, Old Faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. So he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. He's good. Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy Whoa. now. Whoa. Easy. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa. <laughs> Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back if there's any problems. Regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! I want to. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We'll be in right Watch out by that wagon! More of them! Ah! 
horses to Clemens Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Arthur! But if I find a mirror on my adventures, Arthur. I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. I think you Could use a slug of whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? Good day, Mr. Morgan. Definitely not wise.
Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? <laughs> of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. So, talking of men of words, not action. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Paulden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. 
He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Boy. Okay, let's go. This way. Huh? can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. I hope you don't mind my singing. Not at all. I'm preparing for a show. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit to the opera. In Blackwater. Just Mrs. Chester Damson. I flatter. <laughs> what is... uh, stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Could, could, 
Could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you see something for me? I, I'm looking for a mess of soprano. No. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> Can we go, please? I got a train to catch. Oh, would you be quiet, you horrible little man? One more time, from the top. I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough that Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur.
Uh, by order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger, watch, pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing, young John. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and to help your pappy, and your pappy's pappy gave... That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay, where's all this old crap? Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I would... God damn it. Oh, 
Trap door, huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, man! Where are you going? Come on! God damn you! Pistol? Uh, just the ledger now. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, June 7th, 1855.
Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. needed us they threw us away like like shit on their boot I'm, oh man oh man <laughs> you sh show some respect I was respected once I had a profession you asked me to get you something there's no bringing back what I want I want my job my pride the respect accorded to a gentleman what about this old crap Huh? Things. Don't you understand? Those bastards have changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing. What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Thank you. 
I need medicine. Okay. Okay. Oh, we just tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Oh, the one with the pink flowers, tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. 